Hello students, welcome back to our channel Diksha Karnataka. So KSA 2024 counseling process has started and the option entry uh, link is also activated, right? So two very important things while doing the option entry is the college and the course, right? So there are for different colleges, there are the codes available and for different courses, there are different abbreviations available, right? So in this video, we'll be discussing about these things. So please watch this complete video so that you don't make any mistake while doing the option entry. So this PDF is will be there when you log in your uh, in your uh, case it uh, portal. Once you log in, you can see here the link of these college codes and the link of the course description is available in the description section of the video. You can take it from there. So now how to see this? See, so first of all, there is a serial number, then there's a type of college. So you can see here G is written. Okay. So G stands for government colleges. Okay. So if you want to take admission in the government colleges, so which all, all colleges fall in the government category, you can see here. Now there are some you can see after that. So you can see here after you go back, uh, like when you scroll, you can see see some colleges with A. Okay. So these are what aided colleges. Okay. And then you can see B which are these private colleges. So in this way you can first see the different types of colleges there. Now the most important thing here is the college code. Okay. So these are the college codes given for a particular college. Okay. So for example E001 stands for University of Visveshwaraya College of Engineering in Bangalore. And what are the courses available in this one? AI, CE, CS, EC, EE, IE and ME. Now what are these courses? What are these abbreviations stands for? To know that you have to go to the course description PDF where you can see different. For example, AI stands for artificial intelligence okay ad stands for artificial intelligence in data science and then you can see uh, for ar stands for architecture au for automobile engineering like this you have to connect so now we will see one example so why it is very very important is for the same college you can have different codes if the courses are aided or unaided if for example if you see here bms college of engineering we'll see uh, if you check here we have um, so why it is very important is because the same college can have different courses, uh, different code based on the courses. Like for example, if you see uh, BMS College of Engineering here, it is an aided college in uh, E003. And what are the courses available here? CE, EC, EE, IM and ME. But if you scroll down and you see at the serial number of 53, again you have here BMS College of Engineering at a code of E048. Now the courses here available are AD, AI and etc. courses are given here. Now this stands for the unaided courses, the previous one stands for aided courses. Now for example, you want uh, CE and you can check here uh, what mistake can happen. Now see, suppose CE is available both in the aided and unaided courses. Okay, You chose CE and instead of uh, this E003, you gave the code for unaided that is E048. Right? So in that case, what will happen? You will have to end up in paying more fees. So that is why you have to check properly the course, the code and the name of the college. Clear? So when you after your choice filling your preference list is ready, you must cross check with the name of the college, with the code of the college and the courses that you are taking. The description of different courses you can see here. So all the courses whatever are available, their uh, abbreviations are given here. So in this way, you can check the college code, the college name and the course. So be very careful while uh, uh, uploading your uh, option entry because if you make college code wrong, okay, that it will take other colleges, okay. So that is why it is very, very important, very crucial. Take time and adjust this one, okay. So the link of both this PDF, that is the college code and the course list will be given in the description section. So you can download it and print, take a printout of this and then make your preference list, okay. So if you have any other doubts, please comment down. We'll definitely address it. Thank you for watching and please subscribe the channel for more updates.